my face every time I walk into Hobby Lobby. Okay, so Hobby Lobby is amazing. And this time of year, they have so much beautiful, beautiful fall stuff that I kind of went a little crazy. And I actually ended up going to two Hobby Lobby stores, one by my work and one closer to my home. And I have to say the one closer to my home must be a bigger Hobby Lobby or they just stock more fall stuff because I was able to find the rest of the things that I had on my list, I was able to find them at the Hobby Lobby closer to my home. At the time of making this video, all of the fall stuff is 40% off. And when I go shopping at Hobby Lobby, I only buy the sale items because I know in the next couple of weeks, if they don't have it on sale at this trip, they will have it on sale in a future trip. Okay, so since we walked around Hobby Lobby and I was able to show you a little bit of what they have, let me show you what I decided to buy. All right, now this, to me, this is amazing. This is a basically a tray, and I've heard some people call it a dough bowl. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I found it in the fall section, and this is by Robert Stanley, the signature collection, and it was 40% off, so it was around $14. To me, that was well worth it because like I said, I have wanted one of these for so long and I'm so happy I finally got one. So not only can I use this for my fall decorating, but I can fill it with other things too and use it all year round. But for right now, this is going to be a fall centerpiece on our coffee table that's in our living room. <laughs> and next, I don't know what you call these, bushel baskets maybe? But for a long time, Hobby Lobby has had things like hidden in here and they have them all on their top shelves, like up super, super tall on their top of their displays. Well, when I was looking through the clearance section, they actually had some for sale and they were $2. Yeah, I was so excited that I bought two. I think I'm going to keep one for myself and then I was thinking of my daughter and I want to give her one. She's actually coming over and we are going to have a crafting day. So that would be kind of nice for her to take home with her and actually put all of her finished crafts into this little bushel basket or whatever it's called. But again, I have wanted one for a very long time and getting it for $2 was awesome. Sometimes it pays to go to the clearance section because you can find treasures like this. Now I did get a lot of floral stems and I'll show some of them to you, but I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm pretty sure you guys know what floral stems look like and I'm pretty sure you have your preference of what you like best for your home. So let me just show you a few of the different florals that I got. Now I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I like the color and I'm going to be using that in a wreath or maybe even in like a grouping display. I don't know, but again, it was 40% off. It was $5, so that was a pretty good deal. And I think there are a lot of different things I can use this for. And I don't know if you would consider this floral or not, but this is a bag of pine cones and acorns. I really wanted the acorns. The pine cones, I was like, okay, I'll take some pine cones, but trying to find acorns has been definitely something I've been challenged with. And I do want some for some crafting that I'm going to be doing. And the pine cones are nice, but where I live, we have bags and bags and bags of pine cones. So I will use these pine cones. But again, I mainly bought it because of the acorns. So these are some of the floral stems that I wanted to show you. And I think they're kind of made out of paper and they're just really pretty. I really like 
the colors. I really like how big this bunch is. And I think this will go perfect as a display in a couple of other things that I bought. Now, if you have never used deco mesh ribbon before, this stuff is so much fun to play with. And this is fall, of course, and it was $6.99. But being on sale, I did buy some extra because I'm going to be making some pumpkins and some other crafts. So I figured I might as well get two because they were on sale. Then look at the little sign. Hello, fall. So this is basically like a shelf sitter that says hello fall. And I also got one that says cuddle weather because fall really is cuddle weather. I really like the colors. I really like that, that green. It's kind of a sagey mint green almost. It's really pretty. And I will be using these in my fall decorating coming up in a couple of weeks. Super excited for fall decorating. And even the raffia was considered a fall craft. So again, it was on sale. And that's three big bunches of raffia. Raffia or raffia? I'm not sure how to say it. I think I usually call it raffia. Raffia? I, I don't know. But three bundles of the raffia. And it doesn't say how long they are, just that they are one ounce each. So how much they weigh. And these are adorable. These are velvet pumpkins. They're pretty tiny, but they are so cute. I thought those would be a really cute accent in my decorating this fall. And this is really neat. This is a glitter shaker and it has a lot of different colors of glitter. There's gold, there's orange, there's brown, there's copper, there's another kind of gold. There's actually six of them. You can see all the different kinds right there. And this is a really nice size. It looks like it's a fine glitter. I don't think it's an ultra fine, but this will suit my crafting purposes perfectly. And it's a shaker, so you can actually turn the top of it to be over the glitter that you want. And you can either pour it out or it has another opening that has a little bit less, so you're not gonna be getting as much glitter onto your project. All right, so I've been watching a lot of other YouTube channels do their Hobby Lobby hauls. And one thing that everybody seems to be getting are these amber glass jars and they were gorgeous. So I was like, I really want to find those. So the first Hobby Lobby I went to did not have them and I was totally bummed. And the second Hobby Lobby I went to, they had them. And I'm telling you, these are gorgeous. They are so pretty. So this is the large size. And then this is, I guess you would call that a small size. The small one was $5.99. That's just the regular price. That's not the sale price. And the larger one was $19.99. So yeah, it was a little bit expensive, but I think that's really pretty. And I really like that amber glass, probably because I saw so many other people share their Hobby Lobby hauls and they all had this, so this is awesome. I'm super excited that I found it because I even tried online and they were sold out online. So if you can find these, they are beautiful and I would highly encourage you to get one or two and use them in your fall decorating. Now, can you see why I bought these? It's gonna look kind of pretty, I think. Don't you think? Well, this got bent a little bit, but that's all right. It will straighten out in time for decorating. And this is a leaf placemat and it's kind of a gold color. I think it's gold, goldish, but it's super pretty. And I decided I'm gonna use this on my coffee table with that dough bowl over top of it. And then I'm gonna fill the dough bowl with different fall accents. I thought this would be really pretty and yeah. I'm really excited. I am so excited to decorate for fall. I can't even tell you. And I found some more cute little pumpkins. Again, fall craft, 40% off of $3.99. And it's like twisted tissue paper almost. And then the center, the stem of the pumpkins is a little stick. So those are super cute. Very, very pretty. And this is, to me, that is just so pretty. This is just, some fall, I guess, floral, but there's some pumpkins in here. There's some different stems. There's some pine cones. And each piece in here is, it has a shimmer or a metallic surface to it. So this is what I wanted to put into that dough bowl. 
and then have the leaf placemat underneath it. I think it will be very pretty in my living room and I hope my husband likes it. I think he will. He is becoming more open to the decorating portion, which is really cool. When your spouse gets on board and wants to help you decorate, I think that's awesome. So I'm pretty confident he will like these. I think they're really nice and we'll just have to put it together and find out. Okay, now I was very excited. I am excited with everything that I got at Hobby Lobby, but I was super excited when I found these because these are flameless candles and they have some really nice fall colors. But the really interesting thing is they are highly scented. So even though they're flameless candles, they have scents. So this one is Maple Creek and the tall one is Ginger Spice Muffin. Those are, they're, they're beautiful. I'm so excited to use those in my decorating and I cannot wait to turn them on. Whoever thought of scenting flameless candles is a genius. Now I saw this at the first Hobby Lobby that I went to and it was really cute and I really liked it, but I didn't buy it because I was like, well, I'm not sure where I would use that. But when I went to the second Hobby Lobby, I was like, you know what, I really do like those and I really do want them. So I bought them and it's super cute. It looks like a stack of books and it says, hey there, pumpkin. And it has some jute twine wrapped around it with a little pumpkin painted on the front and some wooden beads like an accent. And I just thought this was so pretty. I know exactly where I want to put it. And it was $9.99 before the sale price was taken. So really cute little accent piece. Very nice to add to my fall collection. I'm pretty excited to use this. Now Hobby Lobby has some really nice pumpkins. They have a huge selection of pumpkins. Like this one, this is a pick, which I'll probably end up taking that pick part off. And it was $3.99. And then this one I thought was really pretty. It's, I think this one's actually plastic. This one is foam. This one is plastic. And this was also $3.99. It's, you know, they're pretty similar in size, but I like the coloring on the foam one. This guy, I don't know if I'm gonna leave him like that or if I might end up painting him. I haven't decided yet. So we shall find out in a future video. And again, continuing on with the pumpkin theme, I got these adorable little pumpkins. They are ceramic. But the reason I got these is because they light up. I thought that was really pretty. It has metal leaves on it and a raffia bow. And it's just, it's very, very cute, very pretty. They actually have these in three colors. They have, this is kind of a cream color. And this is almost, I guess, like a robin's egg blue or aqua color. They also had a pale orange, but I got a lot of orange right now in my fall decorations. I really wanted to try some different colors. All right, now this may not seem very exciting, but I got some scrapbooking paper in different colors, but they're all fall colors. This one actually has different words. It says pumpkin spice, apple crisp, things like that. So all kinds of fall words in different fall colors like orange, red, and brown. And then just some plain buffalo check. And the reason I bought these fall scrapbooking papers is we're going to make over some pumpkins, my daughter and I, and instead of painting them, I thought it would be fun to actually change them up with some pattern paper. Oh, and this, I have been looking for this. This is like wheat stalks. I have been looking for this for a little while and I couldn't find any. And thankfully at Hobby Lobby, they had some. So that will go, gr ooh, wait a second. That might be a nice addition for this little glass jar. That's why I love crafting so much. It's so much fun to play around and just see what you come up with. And to go along with more of our crafting that we're going to be doing, I got some burlap and it's five and a half inches wide and 15 feet long. And I thought that was a pretty fair price at $5.99. Oh, but don't forget about the 40% off. And now I wasn't planning on buying beads, but I've seen all of the bead garland that Hobby Lobby sells and people have in their decorating. So I thought I would like to try to make my own bead garland and they had the beads on sale for 50% off, which was awesome. So 
one container was $6.99. So basically it's like you buy one, you get one free. So hopefully that will be enough to make a garland or two for my fall decorating. We'll find out, huh? Okay, now I just could not say no to this because it's so cute. It is a truck and it says farm fresh pumpkins. How cute is that? I love the aqua color and I love the pumpkins and the fresh in the center is kind of raised. So I really like that. And to go along with that, I found another one and it's, I found another like wood shelf sitter chunky piece and it says autumn leaves and pumpkins please. And it's about four inches square and that will fit perfectly on one of the shelves that I have by my front door. And while I really wanted to wait until I went to the Dollar Tree to get some different ribbons, I saw this ribbon and it's the wire edge ribbon and it was so pretty that I just had to get this too. And again, this is the Robert Stanley collection and it's kind of a taupe and brown ribbon. It's just, it's really pretty. And it's two and a half inches wide and 18 feet long. So that is a good size ribbon for my projects. Ooh, I kind of like it with that glass jar. That could be interesting. You never know what you can come up with until you start putting this stuff together. All right, so I accidentally bought two of these. <laughs> I didn't mean to, I meant to buy one, but these are little stickers with pumpkins all over them. And I do have a project in mind that I wanna use these for. Hopefully I will be doing a couple of these projects since I got two packs of stickers. Now these are by the Paper Studio and there are 24 stickers on each card and they were $2.49. So even if I don't end up using all of the stickers this year for crafting for fall, I definitely will find other things that I can use these for. All right, so that is my Hobby Lobby fall shopping haul. That's pretty cool, fall shopping haul. And I'm really excited with the pieces that I got. I think these are going to fit into my existing fall decorating so nice and Every year I try to buy just a little bit more and each year my fall decor has really multiplied. I try to get rid of the things that are kind of, you know, worn out or if the paint is peeling off and stuff, I will get rid of those. So it's kind of replenishing and also looking for new little accents to incorporate into my decorating. And I think those are the hauls that I'm going to share with you because I do have Dollar Tree. I actually have Amazon and some Walmart stuff too but I really want to focus on the decorating and the crafting instead of just the shopping. So I think I'm going to leave you with this Hobby Lobby fall haul. And I also made a video of my first time ever going to the at-home store. That place is awesome. And I also got tons of fall decorations, some of which are hiding behind me right now. So go check out that video, subscribe to my channel and come back for another video on this time. I think next time we're gonna be doing crafting. I think I'm actually gonna film my daughter and I are having a craft day. So I thought maybe that would be fun for you to see. Pretty cool for me, cause my daughter's coming home and I'm super excited that we are gonna spend the day making some crafts for our homes. Should be pretty fun.